What's up, Scorpio? It's Sid from Savvy Sentient, and welcome to your November 2021 love reading. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If you all are new here, hello and welcome. Please make sure that you do like, share, subscribe, uh, interact with the video in any way, shape, or form, okay? Let YouTube know that you like this content. If you are not new here, welcome back, and thank you so much for your support thus far. If you all are interested in personal readings, head on over to SavvySentient.com. That is the only place you'll be able to book and the only place you'll be able to get 30% off of your reading until November 30th with coupon code Savvy Friday. So go now and then come back. All right. Uh, so let's go ahead and get into your readings. Um, so the website will be linked in the description box below along with my direct me link. So you can follow me on all my social media. But let's see what's going on with your love life, Scorpio. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And this is going to be a reference to the person that is heavily on your mind and your heart at this time. Okay? Spirit, what is the overall energy of this reading for Scorpio? Okay. So the overall energy is going to be the Six of Wands. The Six of Wands is a card of recognition. It is a card of victory and success and getting your flowers. Okay? Getting your accolades. Receiving what... You are owed, okay? So let's see how that plays into your reading. We're going to pull a lover's oracle for you as well as the Island Time Wellness oracles. All right, do three oracles for you. Two, one more please. Oh, two more please. Three is already flipped, okay. Okay, so this is the card that comes up beautiful artwork and it says deep in your heart you already know the answer do what feels right okay the first card to hit the table was the paradise card happiness expansion joy playfulness oneness enjoying each other seduction attraction flirting dating hooking up Temptation and third party interference. And the boat card, receiving what you need. Oop. Progression, arriving, moving on. And a closure issues. Okay, what I'm getting right now is that you all, some of you all are moving on to um, a more successful, happier situation with someone. And it seems like an ex is trying to interfere or trying to prevent you from moving on. That's the closure issues and the third party interference. Um, Venus is currently in retrograde, which means that these ghetto ass exes is gonna be contacting us, calling us, randomly liking old pictures, <laughs> you know, doing all kind of weird stuff. So keep your guard up, don't fall for it. Okay, it's just a little astrological trap. <laughs> it means nothing. Eyes forward. Okay, so let's go ahead and see what the person you're thinking about, what their energy is, how they feel about this connection with you, Scorpio. Hmm, so this is looking like it's the ex. It's the ex that we're going to be discussing. I don't know. Let's see. Three more cards, please, for Scorpio. Three more cards, please, for Scorpio. <laughs> Two more cards, please, for Scorpio. <laughs> Definitely the X, y'all. Definitely the X. feel about this person how do you feel about this person <laughs> period how do you feel about this person Scorpio period as you should I know you're like wait what's happening <laughs> I'm gonna tell you and tell you. Okay. Um, and what's the mutual energy for Scorpio here? 
Visual energy, please. Oh. Okay. Um, Scorpio. So this X, whoever this person is, they have the five of wands and they have the knight of cups. So these two energies together indicate that there's some type of regret here. They are sorrowful for um, what has happened. They're crying over spilled milk. Um, but with the Knight of Wands card, they want to come forward to you. They want to save the situation. They want to fix the situation. They still have a lot of passion for you. However, they feel very pessimistic about the possibility, okay, with the full and the reverse. Um, and they, they have no interest in other situations because all they want to do is to renew this situation with you. However, <laughs> the way you feeling about it, Scorpio, is that you're moving on with the Six of Swords to better situations. You're moving on. You're, you're leaving behind the past. You are um, definitely trying to uh, regenerate, renew yourself, okay? The death card here is regeneration, transformation, death, and rebirth, okay? This is also your energy, Scorpio, scorpionic energy along with the star which is healing all right being hopeful so definitely a lot of healing going on for you a lot of moving on going on for you and we have the two of swords card not making any movement towards this stagnating um also making head over heart decisions knowing that whatever this situation was it was not for you it's run its course and the mutual energy here is the eight of wands Wanting a fast progress, rapid communication. So I feel like for you, Scorpio, you're trying to quickly get over this, get past this, move on to other things, see progress in your life. Um, you have no interest or no passion for um, this person. However, they want to communicate with you. They may uh, be sending you DMs, emails, text messages that you're ignoring. Um, and it's really making them feel defeated. It's making them feel um, like they're really losing confidence with every attempt to reach out to you. <laughs> like you're really kicking them in the shit right now. Um, so let's go ahead and get some monology messages for you. Monology for Scorpio. All four of them are purple cards. So um, third eye chakra. Your intuition may be guiding you very strongly right now. Let's get you some rebel messages. Well, I'll pull rebel in a second. So we have the energy is gaining momentum. It's like the more you um, separate yourself from the situation, the more you push away from the situation, the more you focus on your healing, the more healing you get, the more distant you get, the more... Um, strength you get i'm sorry i was distracted there's a cardinal in my window yesterday was my mother's birthday so <laughs> yeah um the energy is gaining momentum okay so keep doing what you're doing um but as far as this person that doesn't mean that they're gonna stop all right just like the the energy is gaining momentum for you they even though they're lacking confidence by your re rejection, that doesn't mean that they're not going to try harder and try harder, okay? Emotions are running high right now. Emotions are running high on both uh, parties. For you in your healing, you may um, be experiencing like a stream happiness right now, um, just contentment and happiness. And this person here is getting more and more frustrated. So uh, do be mindful, be careful, especially if this person that you're dealing with is um, violent or has the, the potential to be. Just be mindful of your surroundings and keep your distance because a new start is on the way, all right? This may be a new romantic start for you, or this could just uh, be like you feeling like you have a clean slate, like a, a new beginning, all right? It may, the energy just may feel clear and clean and fresh and new, okay? So let's go ahead and get some rebel messages for you. Rebel, rebel, talk nice and don't. I don't care. Tell them the messages they need to hear. Tell them the messages they need to hear. That's 
too many messages. Can I get three messages for the Scorpio Collective? Okay. All right. Yeah, all right. All right. So this definitely feels like it might be for three different groups of Scorpios. Um, some of you all may not be... Um, Handling it as well as you think because we have you look like a shit show. Okay um, So that doesn't mean that physically you look like a shit show. This could be just the way that you're handling things You're a hot mess fact clean it up. All right. Don't be out here looking like you going through it You don't got to look like what you going through All right. In fact, it, I would advise you to not I would advise you to put extra effort into your parents both physically and how you present emotionally, okay? Um, just because you don't want to give this person the satisfaction of thinking that they're beating you, okay? Um, the next one says you're giving your power away. You're a badass. Act like it. Um, as you are working on your healing, you may be... Um, tempted and I'm sure there may be a few of you who even have actually responded to any of the communication from this person each time that you do that you are giving away your power you are extending the upper hand to them okay stay focused remember what you're what you're um, here to do okay um, and that's heal move on all right and then finally you are the shit Okay, this is just a, a random card that's in there, little ads or whatever, but you're the shit. So remember that. Keep that in the forefront of your um, of your mind, okay? You don't need them. You don't need closure from them. Everything that you need, you already have, okay? So let's go ahead and get some advice for you, Scorpio. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> As I split the deck, the Ace of Cups is there. Fill your cup back up. Don't give more than you can. Only give the overflow. All right. Hangman, surrender to the situation. Let whatever needs to happen, happen. All right. Be enlightened by the situation. Okay. So what is the advice for Scorpio? Advice for Scorpio. Okay. <laughs> love it so the advice is the devil in the reverse the five of pentacles in the reverse and the mother of cups which is the queen of cups in this deck the devil card is a card of toxicity and excess stop doing too much stop giving too much stop entertaining toxic shit this situation this person is a toxic shit <laughs> don't entertain it anymore come out of lack mentality come out of not having enough or feeling like you don't have enough, heal yourself, find balance, give to yourself with the mother of cups, okay? Master your healing. Get to that part of completion, all right? You're nearly there. You're the queen of cups. You're nearly there, all right? So continue to ignore the toxicity. Keep that shit out of your life and out of your way. All right, so that is your message, Scorpio. If this resonates for you, please let me know how in the comments below. Make sure that you like, share, subscribe. Don't forget to book your reading at SavvyCynthia.com, coupon code Savvy Friday. And until the very next time I read for you all, I wish you all love and light and everything right. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.